Hey there, wonderful listeners. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different because I wanted to share a deeply personal journey with you, my own. It's really my story of finding peace, joy, and purpose through my own faith journey and intentional time prioritization. I'm going to share how I've learned to prioritize time for myself, my family, and my passion work of Christian life coaching and podcasting. So grab a cozy spot and let's dive into my story. Welcome to the Grace Filled Leader Podcast. Do you want better work-life balance? Do you get stuck in patterns of perfectionism and people-pleasing? Have you always been an overachiever but never really felt good enough, no matter how much outward success you achieve? Do you want more time for the things that matter most? Well, you are in the right place. Here on the Grace Filled Leader Podcast, we focus on spirit-driven success and share the secrets to having better work-life balance as a busy woman in leadership. Here you will learn how to set boundaries like a boss, find peace of mind, and reclaim your time for the things that matter most. Hi, I'm Tanya, a wife, mom, leader, and certified Christian life coach. For most of my life, I tried to find worthiness through achievement. I spent decades people-pleasing and pouring myself into my work. I was looking for my value through the approval of others. This led me to feel burned out, empty, and exhausted. I had no time or energy for myself or my family. I realized that I was wasting time and energy looking for validation in all the wrong places. But my life changed when I finally surrendered and God showed me a different way. It is my mission to help you start living the abundant life God has for you. If you're ready to become fueled by grace and find freedom from people pleasing, if you're ready to multiply your time and impact as a Christian woman in leadership, this podcast is for you. Roll up your sleeves, sister friends. It's time to get after it. So I'm going to start by sharing a bit about my background and the journey that led me to where I am today. Now, some of you have listened to my backstory, so this might be a little bit redundant, but bear with me. Like many of you, I spent years feeling overwhelmed by the demands of work, family, and trying to live up to societal expectations. But deep down, I knew there had to be more to life than the constant hustle and striving for perfection and approval. It was during one of my most, really one of my darkest moments that I turned to my faith for solace and guidance. Because honestly, my usual places failed me. My false places of people-pleasing and approval-seeking. So through prayer and reflection and seeking wisdom from Scripture, I really began to discover a deeper sense of peace and purpose. My faith journey became the foundation upon which I built a new way of living, one that was centered on trust and surrender and alignment with God's plan for my life. So with my faith as my compass, I began to prioritize time for the things that truly mattered, starting with myself. I realized that in order to pour into others, I first needed to fill my own cup. This meant carving out time for the Lord, for self-care, for rest, and for my own personal growth. I also made intentional choices to prioritize time with my family, nurturing those relationships and creating cherished cherished memories together. I really stopped putting all of my time and my energy into my work. Now, not that my job isn't important and that I don't do my best and do it with integrity, but I really wasn't willing to spend nearly all of my waking hours there anymore. Then, as I leaned into my faith and I prioritized time for myself and my family, I felt a stirring within me, a calling to do work that aligned with my values and my passions. That's when I discovered Christian life coaching and the power of using my gifts and experiences to serve others on their own faith journeys. And really, 
before becoming a coach, I went through coaching and that's truly where the transformation happened. Starting my podcast was a natural extension of this passion that allowed me to reach even more people with a message of hope and encouragement and practical wisdom. And while it most definitely is a work in progress, I certainly hope that it is growing into something that just that does just that because I certainly want to serve you, my listeners, in a way that gives you hope and gives you encouragement and offers practical wisdom when you too are feeling overwhelmed and exhausted and just spent. So today I can honestly say that I'm living a life that has greater peace, greater joy and purpose than I ever thought was possible even just a year or two ago. By aligning my life with my faith and intentionally prioritizing time for what matters most, I have found a sense of balance and overflow that I once only dreamed I could have. And the best part is, I've been able to share this journey with all of you, my incredible listeners and my clients, and witness to the transformation that comes from living and leading according to God's plan. Hey, busy lady. Are you ready to transform your relationship with time and live a life of purpose and abundance? then you won't want to miss my upcoming workshop, Time Management Makeover. It is coming to you live this week, Thursday, February 29th at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. In this live event, I'll be sharing four transformative steps to help you create more time with less guilt so that you can finally achieve the work-life balance you've been craving. It's time to stop letting time manage you and start taking control of your schedule. Ready to make a change? Head to the link in the show notes or go to gracefieldleader.com forward slash workshop to register for free and take the first step toward a life of freedom and fulfillment. Oh, and P.S. The workshop will be available on replay for anyone who registers, but only for a limited time. So grab your spot today. I want to thank you so much for allowing me to share my story with you, not only today, but through this whole journey. Thank you for being gracious and patient and loyal and committed and for taking me as I am. My hope is that this serves as a source of inspiration or encouragement for each of you on your own journeys. Remember that no matter where you are right now, it's never too late to prioritize time for what matters most and to live a life of peace, joy, and purpose. Until the next time we speak, my friends, keep shining your light and living in alignment with your faith and your values. And if you're struggling to do that, if you just don't know where to start, I am honored to partner with you. Please reach out if you need a friend, a support, a coach on your journey. I pray this episode blessed you, spoke to you, or encouraged you in some way. If so, please share it with a friend and head on over to Apple Podcasts to leave me a review. That's the only way for me to know if you're enjoying the show. Nothing blesses me more than to hear from you. Also, Come on over to our free Facebook community. This is a great place for us to support one another on our faith and leadership journeys. You can find the link to the group in the show notes or go to gracefieldleader.com forward slash community. If you have questions or content ideas for the show, please send me a message on SpeakPipe or via email. Go to gracefieldleader.com forward slash contact and leave a written or voice recorded message. I would love to know how I can best serve you on the podcast. Now to him who can do immeasurably more than we can ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. Ephesians 3 verse 20. Until next time my friends, God bless.